Let's go to the Northern Territory now because the Territory government is going to reintroduce these alcohol ban laws today. And joining me live now is the Northern Territory opposition whip, Josh Burgoyne. Josh, thanks so much for your time. Uh, I noted with Matt Cunningham a little earlier that there's, there's no backward step from Natasha Files. She doesn't think that she's got it wrong any step of the way. Well, this is incredible, absolutely. As you said, we're eight months on from the Labor government basically having to bring forward legislation to oversee when the ceasing of the Stronger Futures took place. And what we're seeing now is a complete backflip, a complete, complete backflip, mm. and the government having to now reintroduce legislation to ensure that some of the most vulnerable in our community, being women and children, are protected um, the Labor government here in the Northern Territory essentially opened the floodgates to alcohol in July of last year. And what we've seen since then is a supercharging in crime statistics. Things were bad before, but what's happened since July last year is it's gotten worse to the point where we've had many people in the community. I know you've speaking, spoken to our mayor in Alice Springs. I know you've mm -hmm. spoken to many people about the crime that's been sweeping our community. And this week in Parliament... Labor have to backflip, they have to go back on their ideology-based policy and basically say that they got it wrong. Unfortunately, the Chief Minister, as you rightly said, has been far from admitting that. She's saying, oh, no, this is a different policy, what we're putting in place. But for everyone here on the ground, we know exactly what's happening. The government okay. have got an egg on their face and they're now having to backflip to protect the very people that they've let down in Central Australia and right across the Northern Territory. So, Josh, that said, the opposition is going to support this legislation today then? Absolutely. It's like I said, it's a step in, in the right direction. Uh, we, we fought against these changes in July of last year. There were lots of NGOs along with community groups that came out warning of the harm that could be caused. The CLP opposition will also be moving a motion of no confidence against this Labor government this week in Parliament. I think it's really important. This is not something that we do lightly. This has only come about a few times in the last six or eight years. Um, but again, people in the Territory have had enough. And, and we need to put their voices forward. What are the solutions here? Because obviously this is not going to fix everything. Do you support also, uh, with this vote, you're going to support this in Parliament, the idea of having these ballots in Aboriginal town camps? At the end of the day, when we talk about the ballots, it's really linked to alcohol management plans. The only ballot we want to see here in the Territory is an election. Uh, the Territory Government have got this wrong on so many levels. We need to ensure going forward. The community voices are heard. The Labor government basically turned their back on a lot of communities in Central Australia. They didn't listen. They didn't, didn't listen when people were warning them of the harm that could be caused. And now they're basically trying to go back and do what they should have done in the, in the very beginning, which is listen to those communities, consult properly. That's what everyone was saying at the time. Go and consult properly with these communities mm. before you open the floodgates to alcohol. And unfortunately, they didn't do that. They're now having to go back and do what they should have done eight months ago. Well, you're very critical of a government that you're now supporting them on doing everything. You know, you're supporting their legislation. I see why. But, but how would you fix these issues if you were actually in power? It's been very interesting. Something which I know Federal uh, Labor MP spoke about was, was actually the, the cashless debit card or perhaps limiting welfare to 80-20, meaning mm. that people in the community only had 20% of their income to You'd spend on alcohol. That? Would Obviously, you reintroduce that? Obviously, every day... Every day, we are giving people the ability to continue their addiction to alcohol, and I do not think that that is a positive thing for our community. We want to make sure that our communities are stronger, and absolutely, as we spoke about, and as the previous federal government, when they spoke about their cashless debit card, we have still in the Northern Territory, in Alice Springs, a basic card, which is basically welfare management by another name. Um, we need to ensure that people who aren't able to deal with alcohol in a, in a proper way, who aren't mm. manage, uh, managing that, and unfortunately it's, it's leading to serious health issues. We need more tools in the basket when it comes to these things to ensure that people aren't drinking themselves to death because right now in the Northern Territory our hospitals are just under, under pressure and we need to ensure going forward that absolutely we have real things, real policies in place that can deal with these issues. Josh, we heard from Darren Clark via Matt Cunningham last hour that his Facebook page has been shut down. 
Uh, we know that some politicians have been very critical of that page. Will you be asking questions as to why this was shut down? Oh, look, in Parliament here this week, we're going to be focus, focusing on our job here in Parliament. Obviously, there are a lot of people that have been critical over, over a long time. Um, I understand, like a lot of people in the community, that people want what's happening in Alice Springs to be acknowledged. They want that to be acknowledged for a long time. This Labor government simply was not acknowledging the issues we, we faced in Alice Springs. Um, and obviously that's something for, for Facebook and other organisations mm. to sort of deal with sure, going Sure, but forward. Josh, uh, Darren Clark told us that the Families Minister has been trying to shut down that page for some time. You don't have any questions about that? Oh, look, certainly if, if the Territory Families Minister has made it her goal to shut down a Facebook page, it really goes to show again where her priorities are. They should be focusing on the people in Alice Springs that have been dealing with antisocial behaviour who have been dealing with domestic violence, that should be her focus, not on shutting down a Facebook page that highlights the very issues that we've been dealing with in Alice Springs. OK, Josh, Josh Burgoyne, lawyer, live there from Darwin. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you.